What's going on, guys? <laughs> what is up? It is me, your boy John, with Grand Exploration, and welcome to the uh, Grand X Hub. <laughs> we got some exciting stuff going on today, and I cannot wait to tell you. First things first, big thanks to you guys, because today is Grand Exploration's first birthday. We are a year old on YouTube, and this is insane. The amount of uh, traction and just growth is blowing my mind right now, and we owe it all to you. Um, all you subscribers out there, all you guys viewing, thank you. And if you haven't hit subscribe yet, smack that subscribe button. Doesn't take a lot, but it means the world to us. This is how Grand X survives. So once again, thank you. Now, a few things happening. Grand Exploration is getting bigger. So is the Granite Grand, my WK2. We're doing B. Woody Extended Sway Bar Links, Rocky Road Outfitter Upper Control Arms, which I just installed. The video is up right there. And a true three inch lift. So stay tuned for that. That's coming really soon. And uh, I'll show you how we achieve three inches of lift. Little hint, Six Monkeys has something to do with it. So yeah, thanks Daniel. And uh, yes, oh, also t-shirts. We got merch dropping real soon. I will keep you guys informed. Website is getting finished up now. Um, this is one of our designs. This is like the original OG uh, logo. We got a few other logos that are going to be out. So it's going to be pretty dope. You'll be able to buy them off our site and or straight from YouTube, which is super convenient. So I'm excited about that. Now, for the biggest news, Grand Exploration has a brand new team member. Now, you guys have probably seen my boy Brandon in a few of my videos. I am now proud to say he is a bona fide, legit team member of Grand X. So this is super sick. Um, he, he means a lot to this channel. His specialties are videography, cinematography, and photography. And his whole goal is to just not only hit the trails and go exploring with us, but to really enhance the video quality for you guys, the viewers. So big welcome to him. And that's what we're doing today. We are gonna go meet Brandon in just a minute and check out his new 2016, 2016 Wrangler Rubicon. This thing is sick. It is completely outfitted. It is just ready for the trails now. And uh, he's excited about it, but I don't think as much as me because I've always wanted a Wrangler and now we got one on the team and I didn't have to get rid of my Jeep Grand Cherokee. So I'm kind of having my cake and eating it too. So. Yes, I'm happy about this. Things are just growing before, faster than I can even realize. So this was my whole goal. This was my dream. I'm super happy about it. I'm going to stop uh, talking so much because we're running late. And let's go meet Brandon and go check out this Jeep. Let's do it. guys we're here don't kick me bro <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we're here my boy Brandon and that's not what I want to say <laughs> back to IMTA mindset <laughs> all right guys we just made it up to my boy Brandon and uh, his beautiful 2016 2016, 2016, 2016. Wrangler Rubicon um, I'm super excited to get into this and I want to show you guys this Jeep so bad because I've just been fiending over it. But uh, I'm going to start off by kind of introducing Brandon. Uh, we've known each other for what? How many years now? Almost like, a decade. Huh? Yeah, uh, eight yeah. eight to ten years. Yeah. He, uh, before Jalen. Yeah, my daughter. Before your daughter. We started off, well, I, I'm a singer. I've always been a singer. And uh, Brandon was my manager for the longest. And we, you know, we went pretty far, but we found a, a new passion and uh, common ground on the way we think and what we want to do in life. And both of us just want to, you know, better ourselves and better the community and world around us. And we yeah. kind of think that overlanding and this YouTube channel is a great way to reach out to people. So um, I'm super excited to welcome to the team, 
man. Yeah, it's been a while, man. Yeah, I mean, man. we've gone through a lot. <laughs> yeah, man, it's been ups and downs, man. It's just exciting. Like, yeah. even today, I, while setting up all the camera equipment, I, uh, I went to go put it back in, in his rig because I forgot that mine's here because <laughs> I just always used to loading his rig up full of all the camera equipment right. and everything else. So well, now, now the team's getting bigger and the convoy is getting bigger. So. Yeah, so this yeah. is uh, this is going to be a fun adventure and lots of lots of big plans. I mean, of course, nothing's really changing other yeah. than just stepping up. Well, it's just stepping up. I mean, what Brandon's bringing to the Grand X team is, you know, videography, cinematography, photography, and just as you guys saw in the last video, uh, Into the Storm, where we went up to, well, we attempted to get to Funny Rocks <laughs> with a few guys that we had quite the challenge with uh, weather and roads being shut down, but just that film quality for that video was beyond what my skill set right now is able to get. Um, I will grow and learn, but that's another reason why Brandon's here too, so I can kind of learn from him and step up my game. And before you know it, we're making movies. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so no, that's that's what we're headed towards. Just making everything bigger, better, expanding, touching, you know, further distances with this with this channel and what we're doing. So. And the other cool thing yeah. is is. We won't be afraid of going out by ourselves anymore because yeah. we got a winch. You got a winch. So I don't have mine yet. And a Rubicon that can uh, <laughs> that can pull you out just in case you get stuck. I think that's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty fun. Yeah. We could do some challenges, Heck some yeah. uh, go back and forth. Yep. A little uh, Rubicon little versus mini. WK2. Right. All right, man. So yeah, no, me and Brandon go way back. We have a brotherhood, just a strong connection, and I think it's just going to make this channel and this team so much better. But we're gonna stop the mushy stuff and yeah. we're gonna get into this dope, dope Jeep. All right, so check it out. It came with a few things already on it, which was even better because I was actually looking at these bumpers, but this is the uh, XRC uh, full steel bumper. So I don't think I'm really gonna be upgrading this at all because it's pretty much what I wanted. Um, next up is a rugged ridge wench. I can never say it, but uh, I don't know much about it. I have seen some reviews uh, them being pretty good, but um, I've never really used one. So if, uh, if you guys know anything about this or you have any uh, feedback, let me know. I am gonna replace the steel uh, rope or steel line with uh, synthetic. But uh, other than that, this is just some Amazon lights. Uh, they'll be replaced. We have a couple uh, potential sponsors. I don't wanna name them yet because there's a few that we're talking to, but uh, You'll see this thing outlet with either five inch to seven inch lights on the front. Not gonna do anything on top because I really do like having a soft top. The sway bar has been uh, replaced with a quick disconnect, which is better than the factory Rubicon. It does have the Rubicon front and rear lockers, which is also the reason why I got the Rubicon. These are 17 inch rims. Uh, they are the black iron. Um, really, really cool rims. I'm probably going to powder coat them uh, unless my rim connection comes through. Uh, then we might be upgrading those to some bead locks. But going to keep it 17s. I don't like the 20s or any of that. Um, but the BF Goodrich, the Alterans, I did have these on my Chevy uh, about a decade ago or around that. But uh, they were awesome. So don't think I'm going to upgrade those. I may go 37s. But it all depends on how much driving we do. Uh, John and I have a lot of plans on going out of state. 37s is gonna do um, you know, a lot less more fuel mileage. So if we, if we get into some stuff where we need them, then we'll throw some 37s on there. It's got the factory steel rock guards. So don't plan on replacing those right now. But um, definitely carries uh, the kiddo. <laughs> and then uh, all the camera gear. It does have the steel bumper from uh, XRC on the back, as well as some uh, LED lights and then a spare. So other than that, it's fairly stock. So <laughs> but uh, I'm, we're pretty excited, especially with the manual. Um, I'm just, I'm super excited with having finally a, something can get out on the trails. So um, yeah, we're gonna be doing uh, a lot of uh, pushing these rigs to the limits and seeing uh, what they can actually do. So look forward to seeing you guys.